Welcome to Spiritual Psychic with Sarah Wiseman, where you'll learn how to unlock the secrets of spiritual intuition and your own psychic gifts. Here's Sarah. Hey everybody, I'm Sarah Wiseman and I am here today with your September Divine Astrology 2023. And this information is channeled um, from the guides. People sometimes ask which guides, who are they, what are their names? They are a collective of light beings, a light collective, a divine collective. Uh, That's the best I can do. They speak in one voice. There's no real leader. It's more like um, a collective entity. So here is the guidance for September 2023. And the guidance is intended to give you something to focus on and something to ponder as you make your way through the quality of time that we're in now. Uh, Regardless of what's happening in the world, our soul self remains infinite and our soul self remains uh, vast and untethered. So take a look at or take a listen to this and see what this brings up for you. Of course, you can subscribe um, and uh, go to the website, sarahwiseman.com, and you can sign up to receive this direct to your inbox. Whatever you believe is not correct. Whatever you believe is not correct. There are too many ways of understanding every situation for there to be only one answer. There is no right, there is no wrong, there is only perception, and each of you perceives differently. Yes, there is dark. Yes, there is light. Your understanding allows you to see what you see. Wrong depends on your level of understanding. Right depends on your level of understanding. Dark depends on your level of understanding. Light depends on your level of understanding. It can be difficult for the mind ego personality to accept this. We say set your mind ego personality aside. You can think consider, determine, decide, intellectualize, moralize without the constraints of your particular society, place, custom, culture, what you were taught, what you were told. Without the constraints. This is why diversity of viewpoint is so important in this new world. You each have a piece of the equation. You each have a piece of the puzzle. Let yourself become free. Let your mind, ego, personality become a distant refrain, not the clanging of the battle drums. Together, you and you will find answers that will take you to the next level. If you are able to offer this generosity to each other, this generosity of stepping back from the clamor of mind, ego, personality, without begrudging views, without holding views, in simple curiosity as to what the other has experienced and what the other has learned, this is where your own learning will expand the fastest. Remember, there is no other. There is only one. You are part of you. You as soul are part of collective soul. When you consider that you are part of, not merely interconnected, not merely inhabiting same earth, sharing same air, using same water, even this is a paradigm shift for many of you. When you consider that you are part of that you merge with everything and everything merges with you and that you merge 
not only in body, but in spirit. This is where you begin to understand reality. So that in merging, in understanding your individual personality is just a small aspect of ego compared to the big soul that is you and you, you begin to get a sense of all views. All views, all opinions, all ways of living and understanding are contained and managed in the wisdom of collective soul. Collective soul holds all views and in the process of expansion begins to lift dark to light. Everything rises to the highest level available. In collective soul, this is magnificent. There is a place for darkness in the beginning. Darkness is what you come through. All the pain, all the suffering, all the anger, all the fear. This is what must be experienced before it can be released. In this way, all base, dark, painful, suffering are part of collective soul as are all light visionary and expanded views held in collective soul you as you as part of collective soul allows as one energetic universe what will be held notice that your own piece of the puzzle is small your wisdom is nothing without the wisdom of another you are all growing together. There is no way you can do this alone. This is because there is no alone. We say again, there is no other. When you tire of humanity, and it is very easy for you to tire, to become discouraged by how things are now in this world that you perceive, recall that what you are perceiving in earth world is just one perception, distorted, linear, three-dimensional only. This is not how things actually are. In truth, you as soul exist in multi-dimensions all at once, so this experience is just one of many you are having all at once. The, the wisdom that you hold so dearly is just part of some wisdom. When you expand to include yourself as part of collective soul, which is God, one all divine source, you understand your smallness and your greatness, and you understand the smallness and greatness of all you are in contact with. Remember also, collective soul is not just for humans. All beings, all sentient beings, not only all living beings, but all sentient beings and energies and awareness are included. Allow this understanding to sink into your awareness and notice how you relax. The world is much bigger than what you have been taught. I'm Sarah Wiseman. You've been listening to Divine Astrology. Please subscribe and we will be back next month with more. Thanks for listening.